These days, we all know somebody who has found love online. In fact, 40 million people in this country are using online dating services. 40 million. But with almost 1,500 sites and so many options, how do these people even find each other? Today, I'm going to take you through the world of online dating and help you navigate to find the right match for you. I'm Andrea Sirtash, and this is On Dating. <music> I think online profiles generally are probably 60-40, 60 playing up the lies, 40 truthful. They lie sometimes on the profiles on the internet. I would do, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I believe people who go online try to make themselves appear better than what they really are, and usually it's really deceiving. I definitely don't think people are honest in people, online no, dating. Yeah. No. Online dating, no honest. No, you make yeah. yourself out to be fabulous. Yeah, I'm five foot seven and not like, you know, <laughs> bloody as <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of people are not very honest when they're, you know, stating their profiles online. Some people are very honest in their online dating profiles. And um, there's, a, there's a term for those people. They're called lonely and, and unattached because uh, you gotta, you got to bait the hook. This is my friend Dave. Dave refuses to date online. He says he'll meet his ideal woman in the real world. In the meantime, he's asked my sister and all of my friends to be his date at various weddings and social functions. What is the wait? In dating, we all have to take risks and put ourselves out there. And a great way to do that and to get some immediate activity is to date online. So you're ready to make the leap and go online. Where do you even begin? Here are some things to consider. Are you looking for a niche site? For instance, jdate.com tends to attract people in the Jewish community or people who want to find a Jewish date. There are groups and niche sites for everybody. Different dating sites have different levels of membership and services. Now, most of them will give you a free trial window where you can just try out the site and see how it works. And then you pay by the month, six months, or a year. Obviously, you're going to save the most money if you opt for the year all at once. Figure out how much help you want from the site you're signing up for. So a site like eHarmony, you're paying a little more, but you're really getting extra service from them. So figure out, do you want the site to give you suggestions and personality tools, or do you want to just do it all on your own? There's a lot of debate as to what the top dating sites are. I'll share my top five, and you can pick one that's best for you. Date.com. This is a great site, and it's not just for heterosexuals. There's a great gay and lesbian community you can access as well. Date.com has a fabulous referral program, so if you invite some friends to join, you'll get a bonus for that. And one thing I find great about the site is it's connected to a career builder, so you can actually find a job and a date at the same time. Lava Life. My friends and clients in Lava Life report that it's a little more fun and funky than some of the other sites. Now, a great thing about Lava Life is that they really value your privacy, so you can choose who sees your profile. There's a webcam option if you're into that, and instead of paying an online kind of monthly fee, you go with credits. You pay for credits, and that entitles you to IM, to chat, to email, and to contact members. Yahoo is a great site if you want some virtual assistance in the matchmaking arena. They give you some great choices and some great matches. Now, they give you one week for free, and then you pay $24.95 a month. For three months, you pay $16.65, and if you're gonna go for six months all at once, it's $12.49. I think they're hoping you're going to meet your match after six months. eHarmony. As I mentioned before, eHarmony places a lot of emphasis on virtual matchmaking. They will really work for you to make sure that you're matched up really well based on important criteria. They don't just look at your picture or your bio. They consider everything from your faith and your ideas and your values. And they give you a survey and a questionnaire of over 400 questions to ensure that you meet your match. And finally, we have Match.com. Match.com claims to be the world's number one online dating site. It's no surprise, when you look online you see people from over 240 countries, 18 languages, I mean there's something for everyone. I associate Dr. Phil with Match, he's definitely their relationship guru on board. And you can flirt on this site for free, but you need to subscribe to email. A great part of the online dating community is you can see just how many people are in the exact same position as you. As I said before, there are literally millions of people just waiting to meet each other. So remember, even a bad date is a great story. So get out there and have some fun. 
Thanks for watching today. I'm Andrea Sirtash for On Dating, and I'll see you next time.